Once upon a time, there was a young fox. This fox had an unusual friend. The two of them would often play chase until sunset. One day, winter arrived and the fox could no longer see his best friend. Having never experienced winter, he was frustrated and confused. The fox suddenly encounters a possum. Hello, my friend disappeared when winter came, the fox complained. I'm unhappy about the winter, too. I miss the warm weather, squeaked the possum. I can dig a den so that we can keep warm in the winter, suggested the fox. So the fox dug a den for them both to sleep in. Upon waking up, the fox spots something. A small raccoon grabs the last blackberries from a bush. These two give me the last of my favorite blackberries, sadly whined the raccoon. I'm unhappy too. I can't find my friend, but I can help you find another berry to eat, barked the fox. Possum awakes and joins the other two. You can come back with us and stay at our warm den, offered the fox. That sounds lovely, replied the raccoon. We should all wait for spring together, suggested the possum. So that's what they did. Finally, spring arrives. The fox runs to the river. He stares down, but he feels uncertain. He does not recognize his friend. Upon looking at the possum wading into the river, the fox finally understands. His friend was only his reflection all along. He appeared different because the fox had grown over the winter. With this realization, the fox looks down in dismay. But as the possum and raccoon surround him, he realizes something more important. He had not lost a friend after all, but found a friend in these animals. He looks up, smiling, and runs off with his new best friends. The Dog and His Reflection one day, a dog was rewarded a bone from a butcher shop. As he hurried home with his prize, he soon crossed a bridge. He happened to look down to the water and greedily mistook his reflection for a real dog carrying a bone bigger than his own. Without thinking, he sprang at the dog in the water, only to swim for his life to reach the shore. He stands sadly thinking to himself what a foolish dog he had been, for he had lost his precious bone in the water. <laughs>